Hello everybody, welcome back to Train Sim World 2, where we are here now working in Chapter 2. We finished everything in Chapter 1, finally. So we're finally moving up to Chapter 2, and eventually we'll be going into Big Power for Chapter 3, which has a lot of interesting actual missions, other than the tutorial missions here up in the beginning. Uh, chapter 2 is actually going to start us off with the SD40-2 introduction, and that'll be our first... Um, tutorial so to speak and then everything else is basically just get into it and so what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to go back I'm going to click on continue sand patch grade journey and we're going to get right into the game starting with the with the SD40-2 introduction even though we've used it already this is a special duty type 40 locomotive built by the electromotive division of General Motors known as an SD40-2 this locomotive is one of the most successful designs of all time. A 16-cylinder diesel-electric motor provides a stomping 3,000 horsepower. Now, because it's an introduction, I'm sure he's going to tell me to get into the train. Um, we'll see if he does. But I'm, I'm totally expecting that to come in any second now. But yeah, the first, first off, there he walk goes. Walk over to the locomotive as indicated. Yeah, so basically we're going to be climbing on the locomotive. I believe this is the one that jams up and freezes up. So let me go see what happened. Yes, track safety. You tell me this after, what, six, seven missions now? Goodness, or is it nine missions? Oh, no. Yeah, seven missions. It was definitely seven missions. So let's go inside this engine. Make sure our brake is released. Of course, we can't do anything. Open the cab door and proceed inside. We have this wonderful gentleman here teaching us how this train runs. To take control, you'll want the engineer's seat. Head over and sit down. Oh, by this point, you can't get out of the train. You basically are locked in. Uh, well, actually, this door can open. But you're basically locked in for the most part. Once you sit down in this train, you're stuck. Safety always comes first on the railroad. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. I'll be honest with you, probably the first thing you should do is turn on the number lights. And you can't even do it in this tutorial. The tutorial won't even let you turn on the number lights, which is messed up. You can't even turn on the rear headlights, which is also just as messed up. So instead, they want us to turn on the front headlight. Let's see what happens if I put it on dim. Nope, they want bright. Darn it. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and throttle. The reverser determines direction of travel. Put this into forward. So I'll be honest with you, this mission is not going to go according to plan. Um, we're not allowed to check out the cutout valve or the MU2A valve. And so I, I've done this already a few times and I already know what happened in this. So we're going to set this to forward like they said. To the left is the auto brake, which applies brakes along the entire length of the train. Let's move this to release. We'll just kind of follow along. I don't recommend doing what they're talking about other than just releasing this. We're about to move. So make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember, safety first. Now, supposedly, it says here, according to our brake pipe, according to our brake pipe, it says this is already set to the MUA2A valve here, and this is, this is set to leader dead, and this is set to freight, according to this, but I don't think that's actually accurate. So let's blow the horn. Now add some power. And we're only going to do notch one. We're not even going to try to do anything else. Let's see what happens from what they tell us to do next. This train just to start moving over that 15 mile an hour zone up there. And then at some point the train will get stuck. And we won't be able to basically slow the train down because these two functions don't work like they're intended. So there is a trick to do this. We will get there when we get there. And I believe if I go out to nine, I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I can actually touch the switches. So that would be good news. Yeah, I can't even turn down the throttle. I'm basically locked in. I'm trapped in this train. Save me, people. Save me. <laughs> and he's just looking at me. He's like, what's wrong with you, man? Look at that. He's totally doing it. That's messed up. Well, now we should be going 50. There it goes. 15 miles an hour. And the guy should be talking about once we hit this part of the line here. And I really want to turn off the throttle. I want to stop my train. 
I'm worried because right now I'm a flat surface. I want to slow this thing down. He's not going to let me. He's totally not going to let me. I'm actually... Oh, I can get out of the seat. That's actually kind of fun. And I could probably jump out of the train. Oh, complete the tutorial. Okay, I'll sit back down. Calm down. Set throttle to idle. Great work. To maintain a constant... Yeah, we're not going to hear him say that. That Could concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. So this is Move meant the auto brake to initial reduction. This is meant to stop As the with applying power. Too stop. much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo. Yeah, this one here, the, the independent brake right here, it's actually meant to stop this train, not this one. But we're going to go ahead and do initial reduction, like they said. Oh, the train's actually stopping this time. <gasps> cool, it's actually gonna stop. Awesome, we should stop our train. This one, this one usually just goes on through. This is great. They must have done an update. Mission done. This is awesome. I never had that happen before. Gold medal. Sweet, well, there you go. The mission's over, no speed limit because they're not even tracking me. That is it for this episode. How exciting. I thought I was gonna have to go and overrun with this train. Um, I think I've done this like four or five times now and had the same thing happen where I couldn't stop the train. So I did something right here. So whatever I did, follow this. There you go, right? All right, folks, um, like and subscribe. We'll see you for the next one. Bye. Oh, I don't need the bell anymore. So let's turn that bell off. I left the city, so I'm pretty much good. I won't need the bell until I get to some crossing up ahead or anywhere where I need to blow the whistle anyways. Um, this is just terrible. I went over the speed limit twice now. Oh, here comes somebody. So this is a good time to turn the bell for our neighbor just so that way he's aware that we're driving through here and he can see that's what's going on. That's a good picture right there as is that one. So let's see what we get on the other end of things when we get there. Long set of tanker cars. <laughs>